How are we doing guys? Uh, today we're going to do something in JavaScript. Uh, I came across this cool JavaScript um, framework called Meteor and it's not new by any definition. It's, you know, it's a couple years old. Um, it's been around for a while and I have heard of it, but I've never actually built apps in it and it's just a way for uh, for you to develop apps full stack with JavaScript with only JavaScript, no other language, front end, back end, all JavaScript. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, I thought I'd give it a shot and um, it's built by these by the media development group and it's actually becoming quite popular they have their own framework front-end framework called blaze and it's sort of a variation of handlebars but the community didn't adopt it uh, that I mean I'm sure a lot of people used it but react is uh, has now come to the forefront of front-end and it's sort of uh, becoming so ubiquitous that I think that the media development group wants to make it their default framework. So we are gonna we're gonna be using React for this one. Now I know a little bit of React, and I think we're gonna do this to do app. So you see, you can choose your front end framework right here, uh, your view layer, and you can either do React, Angular, or Blaze. And we're gonna skip Blaze. We're gonna go straight to React. I do know a little bit of React. I don't know any Meteor, so. Uh, we're gonna have to go through this. It might be a little bit slow because I gotta read and sort of see what's going on, but I'll try to walk you through it as uh, carefully as possible. So you don't really need to know anything to get started. You just need Meteor, download it, and go to their Meteor.com website. Uh, you need React, and uh, according to these people, you need some JavaScript 2015, uh, which you should probably already know because it's awesome, uh, way better than the quote-unquote old JavaScript. Uh, you've got arrow functions, destructuring, um, constant let. It's just much better. So get on to JavaScript uh, 2015 and uh, we'll get started. So the first thing we're going to do is, according to this tutorial, is it's a to-do app. So the first thing we're going to do is use the create keyword and give it the name of the type of the project. So it's going to be Meteor Create and the name of the project. So let's switch over to the terminal. And it's just like Rails uh, instead of um, new. I guess Rails is Rails new, and then the name of the project Meteor is Meteor Creates, and we're gonna call it To Do's. So this should take a second and create the project. Now I think it comes with a few folders by default. Let's see. Um, client is one of the folders, then server and uh, package JSON file and then I guess some other stuff. Um, I believe in this Meteor folder we'll find some dependencies that the, that the app uses. They come by default. We'll check it out. Let's go investigate. So it should be done by now. Let's see. Okay, cool. So we'll refresh this. We'll go to to-dos. And I think if we look at the hidden files, we shall find Meteor and then packages. Cool. So it comes with a whole bunch of packages. Um, We'll get into this into some of these later on. I think they go through it in the tutorial. I already read over it a bit, so they do explain some of this. But um, you'll see here we have Blaze templates, and the cool thing about Meteor is that it comes with a a authentication system already built in. So you, I think we got to use Blaze for that. We're probably going to be switching over to to React um, with some with some lifecycle methods. But uh, these are our, these are our dependency or our packages. And we've got a couple folders. We got a client folder and a server folder. They all have a bit of a JavaScript, uh, some JavaScript files, and then the client uh, folder, which is obviously what the end user ends up seeing in the browser, has got some markup and styling um, files as well. So let's go ahead and check out what the next step is. After this has been created, we are going to install dependencies with npm install. And then we're gonna run it with Meteor. So that's how you run the app. You just do Meteor, and it runs on your local machine. So um, yeah, let's just mess around with it. It just says mess around, test it out, see how it works. So we'll do that. Um, let's go ahead and install the dependencies. So let me close this. We'll do CD to dos, and we'll install the dependencies. Just take a second. It's creating our node modules uh, folder. And then we'll just run, we'll see all the stuff that was installed right there. And then we'll just do Meteor, and hopefully it doesn't take too long. The cool thing about Meteor is that it's um, it's got hot reloading already built in. 
So if you ever do any like hot reloading with React, uh, you know how cool it is? You basically just change something and it changes on the screen. You don't have to refresh. I think unless your app crashes, then you might have to refresh. But aside from that, it uh, changes by itself or it refreshes on its own. So uh, while that gets built, let's check out our files here. We got the CSS, nothing in there. Uh, some stuff in the HTML uh, file. I think we're just going to delete this stuff. Uh, remember that I mentioned Blaze, which is their framework. They've got um, this is this looks like handlebars right here, uh, right here with with this little arrow thing. This is Blaze, and then I guess these are the templates, the hello and info templates. Not a hundred percent sure how Blaze works. Uh, yeah, here you can see template name hello, and then they just render them here by using the the name of the template. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's see how it looks. Localhost, cool. Welcome to Meteor. Um, we got a couple links. Cool updates um, in real time. Nine, ten, blah blah blah. Okay, so they've got a button and uh, a little bit of reactive uh, data. So what we're gonna do instead here is we're gonna delete these templates or watch. I'll actually show you this this hot loading really quick. So if you do you've instead of pressed, we're gonna do it, you've clicked. We'll put it in caps. Now I'm gonna save it and quickly switch over. Save, switch over, and you should see boom, it reloaded. See that? Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to see. Maybe I'll do it like this. Um, Oops. Okay. Like that. Then we'll be able to see what's happening. All right. Let's go ahead and change something here. You've clicked the button this number of times. Now, if we check it out over here, it should switch automatically without us having to refresh. See that? So Meteor's pretty awesome so far. Um, the the group that's developing it is pretty well funded. They've got some really cool ideas. Um, so I think it's gonna it's gonna go far. There's some issues regarding their database layer, uh, Mongo, and um, it gets a lot of criticism for that. But aside from that, I think it's pretty cool. So I thought we'd give it a shot. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video where we're gonna start creating some React components. Um, we're going to install a couple dependencies and then basically change everything in the app from Blaze to React. So I'll see you there.